The next special tests that we're going to be doing are for ankle injuries. The first test is, gonna, is called the anterior drawer test. Uh, for this one, the patient is going to sit either with their foot off the edge of the table or with their uh, lower leg off the edge of the table. And um, the athletic trainer therapist is going to be in front of the patient. And what we're going to do is we're going to stabilize the distal tibia with one hand while we're going to grasp the calcaneus, cup the calcaneus with the other hand. Uh, with the forearm is going to uh, support the bottom of the foot in a slight plantar flexion. Okay, and then uh, to test this, I'm going to draw the calcaneus um, towards me anteriorly, forward, uh, while stabilizing the tibia. And I'm looking for any the end feel. If I don't feel the end feel, if there's a instability. Uh, anteriorly, uh, under the uh, ankle mortis or, or a clucking sound, uh, when the talus subluxes or rotates uh, this uh, or pain, this would indicate uh, anterior talofibular ligament uh, sprain or a joint capsule injury. The next test that we're going to do is, in, is the Kliger's test. For this one, we're going to have the patient again uh, sitting uh, with the leg off the edge of the table and the athletic trainer or therapist in front of them and we're going to stabilize the distal tibia uh, just like we did before uh, but do not compress the uh, tibiofibular uh, syndesmosis. Uh, then uh, with the other hand we're going to grasp the uh, medial side uh, of the foot uh, while supporting the ankle in a neutral position no plantar flexion uh, and then we're going to rotate the foot laterally um, while stabilizing the distal tibia um, but we do not want to evert the foot. Okay? Uh, positive tests uh, would indicate that, that they complain of medial and or lateral joint pain or it displaces, displaces uh, medially. Uh, that would be an indication for the uh, deltoid ligament sprain. Uh, or they have pain uh, right above the uh, lateral malleolus uh, indicating a uh, syndesmosis sprain. Next test is going to be a Taylor tilt test for inversion stress. For this one we're going to have the patient sit with their leg over the edge of the table um, and the athletic trainer can uh, stand in front of them um, uh, for video purposes, I'm going to stand on the side and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, stabilize the distal tibia um, while I grasp with my other hand, I'm going to uh, grasp the uh, calcaneus uh, like this and then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to apply an uh, inversion uh, stress test uh, like this and with my thumb and forefinger can be placed along the calcanofibular ligament uh, to feel for uh, any gapping on the uh, lateral side. If the tail tilts or gaps or there's pain uh, or uh, lack of end feel laxity uh, then that would indicate be an indication for a calcanofibular ligament sprain uh, with or without anterior or posterior talofibular ligament sprain. Uh, in the same position we can also do a Taylor tilt with uh, eversion stress test. So grasping the distal uh, tibia and uh, cupping the calcaneus and uh, moving it into a eversion position. Um, again, feeling for any pain or gapping or no end feel uh, while the talus uh, tilts or, or gaps. Uh, this would indicate a uh, deltoid ligament uh, strain over here under the uh, medial malleolus. Special test that we're going to be doing is called a sub-tailor joint play. 
Uh, for this one, um, patient, patient position for a medial glide, we're going to have them uh, sideline with the test leg uh, stabilized uh, in a neutral position. Um, uh, for a lateral glide, uh, we would also put them in a sideline on, on the uh, non-test leg. Um, with a subtalar joint and a neutral. Uh, and a towel may also be placed under the uh, distal tibia if we wanted to do that. Like so. Then um, the examiner is going to stand at the foot uh, stabilizing the talus uh, mortis in one hand and the opposite hand is going to cup the uh, calcaneus uh, like this position and then we're going to apply the force we're going to move the talus uh, medially and laterally so again going medially and laterally so up and down side to side um, and what we're looking for there is a uh, increase or decrease uh, medial or lateral translation on the talus rel relative to the opposite side. Uh, the positive indications would result in uh, uh, compared relative to the opposite or uninjured ankle. Uh, hypomobile medial glide is associated with decreased pronation or calcaneal eversion. Hypomobile lateral glide is associated with decreased supination and calcaneal inversion. Uh, also to note is that hy hypermobile medial glide is commonly associated with lateral ankle sprains. The special test that we're going to do is called the cotton test or lateral Taylor glide test. And for this one, we're going to have the patient uh, supine or uh, sitting uh, with the ankle in a neutral position off the edge of the table. Uh, one hand is going to be uh, grasp the uh, ankle mortise uh, just proximal uh, to the tibio taylor joint, joint line. Uh, this will stabilize the distal leg uh, but not uh, compress the distal tib tibiofibular syndesmosis. Uh, the opposite hand is going to be placed on the uh, calcaneus um, inferiorly uh, and the uh, talus. And Force is going to be then going to be applied to move the talus uh, laterally in this direction. And uh, what we're looking for is any increased lateral translation of the talus rel relative to the opposite side uh, as well as pain. Uh, these are indications for a distal tibiofibular syndesmosis sprain. The last special test uh, that we're going to be doing for the ankle injuries is going to be the distal tibiofibular joint play. And for this one, the patient can either be supine or sitting with the ankle relaxed in uh, plantar flexion. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be grasping the uh, fibula bone uh, distally. Uh, and uh, at the lateral malleolus and then we're also going to be uh, stabilizing the tibia distally. Okay. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be applying uh, 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 pressure obliquely to move the fibular uh, anterior uh, anterior and then posteriorly relative to the tibia. So we're basically just going to be going up and down um, with the medial or la, medial, lateral malleolus or distal fibula. And what we're looking for is we're looking for any pain from the syndesmosis or increased motion relative to the uninvolved side. This would be an indication for a sprain to the distal 
distal tib tibiofibular syndesmosis. Uh, also, we can also modify this by using the distal fibula can be compressed or squeezed uh, to identify lateral play um, based on the amount of movement.